Splitgate Arena Warfare, the love child of Halo and Portal. The game has recently seen a spike in popularity, which has led to a huge influx of new players. Now, after playing your fair share of online matches, I'm pretty sure that you would agree when saying that the majority of the player base kind of suffer from a negative IQ. Usually within about five minutes of completing the tutorial, these apes have already forgotten the most important part of the game, the portals. Repositioning, peeking corners, getting vantage points, outsmarting your opponents so hard that they uninstall the game. Portals really are the coolest feature about Splitgate. But how do you use them properly? How do you use your portal so well that the enemy team spends more time watching the kill cam than playing the game. My name is Tallest, and today, that's what I'm gonna be teaching you. I'm gonna teach you how to think with portals. The thing that makes Splitgate so much fun is the portals, the 5D chess that you can play, the mind games that you can get into with the enemy team. Splitgate isn't just arena warfare, it's psychological warfare. I mean, the game has proximity voice. That means that people can hear you even if they're on the other team as long as you're near them. In most games, teleporting behind someone on the other team, yelling at them, and watching them scream in panic while you blast them with a shotgun. Usually you have to cheat to do something like that. But in Splitgate, <laughs> baby, that's a feature. So let's get to the portals. This one goes to that one and that one goes to this one. You can shoot through them, but so can the bad guys, so be careful of that. You can jump through your friend's portals, the enemy's portals, your own portals, any portal, you, you jump right through that thing. You can only see through your own portals though, so be careful when you start jumping through random ones, because instead of ending up next to the BFB, you might land in the middle of the WWE, Super Slam, and get your ass clapped. Now when going through a portal, you maintain your momentum that you had when initially going through it. For your glue eaters, that basically means speedy thing go in, speedy thing go out. You can use this to launch yourself out of portals at incredibly high speeds, launching yourself towards the enemy, leaving them to wonder how you just came flying at them faster than an A-10 warthog. In fact, the speed that you go flying out of these portals is almost as fast as you can click the subscribe button down below the video. That's right. I gotcha. Did you know that only 5% of the people who watch these videos are subscribed? So please consider clicking that button. It will help me so very much. We're trying to get monetized here on the channel. That way we can hopefully start focusing a little bit more time on it, maybe earn some money. And who knows, maybe make this a full-time thing. That would be really awesome. We only need to get to 1,000 subscribers. It takes you just a second to click it. It would help me a lot. Thank you. But let's get back to the video. Now you come equipped with two EMP grenades, which if you throw at an enemy portal, will close them. Now the grenades will not hurt enemy players, but if you break somebody else's portal with a grenade, shoot your own portal there, you've effectively locked them out of using that wall, which usually inflicts a certain kind of emotional trauma. So make sure you try to deal damage that way. Again, the psychological warfare of it. Now, as I'm sure you know, the portals can only be placed on these blue walls, but you only have to hit a small portion of the wall for your portal to be able to appear. Now, that may not seem like a big deal, but there are a lot of points in the map where you can see just a little tiny bit of a blue wall, and if you can land a portal there, it can usually give you a huge advantage, especially early on in the match, where you can find yourself landing behind the unsuspecting enemy team, and you line up a juicy little quadra kill. Imagine this, you're hiding behind cover, you know that nobody has any sight lines on you, you are safe. Suddenly, a portal opens on the wall next to you, an 11 year old hopped up on Mountain Dew and eating a bag of Doritos comes out, one taps you with a shotgun, and starts teabagging you for extra XP, all because he saw one little blue pixel on his screen. That could be you. You could be the hopped up 11 year old teabag. <laughs> We're gonna cut that out. <laughs> We're not using that. We're not using it. Cut that out. Now, are you scared of that hypothetical 11-year-old coming up behind you and doing bad things to you? That's still, that doesn't sound good. Well, players can't put portals over other players' portals. So, if my portal's here, you can't put yours down. At all. So, you can use that to lock down a wall, preventing people from putting down portals there and getting behind you. Yes, they, they could throw a grenade at it and then get rid of your portals, but they'll probably hear it. So... It, 
it helps. Now you might have noticed that hitting an enemy with a melee attack will always do 50 damage, even if you hit them in the back. Do you remember when I said that portals maintain your momentum when you go through them? Well, your melee damage is actually 50 base damage plus more damage based on how fast you're going. So if you punch a guy while you're standing still, well, it basically just feels like you're just punching him. But if you hit a guy while you're flying past him at Mach 5, it's gonna feel a little bit more like getting hit by a freight train. Now, lastly, the mind games that you can play with portals are near infinite. Are you fighting somebody who's better than you? Shoot a portal behind them and then just shoot them in the back. Are you fighting somebody who thinks that they're smarter than you? Well, shoot a portal behind them. They're gonna think you're gonna shoot them in the back, but you actually just keep shooting them in the front. It's that easy. Now, this is just a short list of tips to help you out if you're just starting to play Splitgate. I recently started playing this game and I actually really, really enjoy it, and I'm hoping to enjoy it for many more months to come. I hope that you will as well. I hope that this video was able to help you out, and if it did, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any input that you can give me, stuff you liked or didn't like about the video, please tell me in the comments down below. I want these videos to be good, and I can't do that without your feedback. But again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a good one.